and Rob on, uh, on how to think about hopeactchange.com and what to do with it. So the purpose of this conversation really is to uh, get your advice on how this, uh, this, uh, uh, this nascent uh, website video slash movement should be participatory and involve uh, sort of the masses. Uh, Jesse reached out to me three weeks ago, four weeks ago, like just around the time the video came out, saying that uh, you know it'd be interesting to sort of go beyond just uh, one person's or one view of this of this uh, of this speech and and this video, but to get involved with a bunch of people in here. So I thought what we'd do is uh, start with just uh, the initial video, we we'll show that first. Uh, then we'll show uh, an interesting one on the web that came came through an a cappella group. Uh, uh, that's been inspired by it. And then we'll just have a conversation uh, with these folks here and get your input. Uh, Rob is going to talk a bit about the website as it stands and the intentions on how to move it forward. But we really want to get your input into uh, ways in which this uh, goes beyond uh, um, a just a, a campaign message or an inspiration message, but actually move it, moves into action and the ways in which the site can be evolved to be more action focus with many people in here. So should we show the first video? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, <clears throat> how many people have seen the video here? <laughs> See it again. Yes. <laughs> we, we've seen it enough. But, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll show you again. Not at the 
violence as our politics suggests. That we are one people, that we are one church. And together, we will begin the next great chapter. How many views? Uh, like uh, 15, 20 million. 15, 20 million. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mark. Because it has an impact. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see the, uh, the just a, a view of the one that was recently posted. Sure. There's been a bunch of these. Yeah, but this one's really great. What I want to start with uh, was with Jesse to just like tell us like what beyond shooting the video and your sort of connections in your in the LA world. What what caused you to sort of think about reaching out beyond just this artistic expression? Uh, I mean, the thing is, is uh, Will I've worked with Will I Am a bunch of times. He's a friend of mine, and he uh, you know was really inspired by the words, the speech. And then uh, he took it and he basically did a, he did a version of it, which was him doing all the parts and it was really great. And he sent it to me and, and I think the words are incredibly powerful. So it just became, you know, how can we best dramatize what, um, what Barack's talking about? Yeah. You know, and that was basically where it started. Right. You but know? What, what was the impetus to then say once the video was done, well, let's now make this into a broader... Oh, into a website yeah, yeah. and continue it? Yeah. You know, the thing is, is that it had a... Uh, when we did it, I think that if 10,000 people had watched it, I think that would have been uh, a measure of success. And I think that, you know, it struck some chord that made it much more resonant than that. And a lot more people watched it and felt an emotional connection to it, I think mostly because of Barack's words. And uh, uh, I think that after we finished it, the idea was you know, because there was so much traffic, maybe it could be an opportunity to help people, you know, get people to vote, you know. So so the thing is, having worked on uh, Rock the Vote for many years and having, you know, it seemed like a real uh, opportunity to get people invested in him and in the campaign. So, yeah. so, you know, the idea was to try and extend what it's done by giving people an opportunity to actually be part of it themselves. And yeah. so that's what's really happened with the website so far. Yeah. You know, now it's like trying to uh, make it a call to action to get people to do it in a non-official way because we're not really connected to the campaign in any way. So it's just about people connecting with one another and uh, getting them out to getting them out to vote as an idea. Yeah. So do you want to show the website and sure. how it stands today? <clears throat> and yeah, absolutely. So um, this is actually the second the second version of uh, of what we launched. Um, uh, when Jesse called, I think we had about a, a week until, uh, well, Super Tuesday was a couple of days later, and then yeah. we wanted to get it all out as soon as as soon as possible, and and to find some kind of idea. And I think that the uh, 
the, the request was just find a way to connect more people to the video and create yeah. a website that, um, that, that could reach people and, and do more to, to allow people to, to participate. So um, my guys went back and what we came back with was this idea of this mosaic. So that was kind of the, um, the, the beginning concept of the website, was, which was to allow people to somehow upload their, video, their, their own photos, and we were thinking videos and text or whatever that it might be, and that all of that would become small pieces of the mosaic that would cause and that would formulate the, the video. So that was the first idea, and then from there it was a pretty, pretty hectic race to get it launched in version one over the course of a week, which was, you know, our normal projects at Syrup are basically four to five months projects, but uh, so so we raced to get the first version out, which we did, and it was it was well received. But we knew that it wasn't doing half or one, you know, it was doing a smidgen of what we wanted it to do. So last week we launched the second version of the site, which is still, you know, in in very embryonic stages, but we feel like it, it's gone a bit further. So the site right now has um, it opens with the mosaic piece here. Um, but then it's also asking you to get involved. You can join, you can explore in different ways, and then you can watch videos which have now been coming out and more testimonial type videos. And then of course, you know, learn about the site. But this is the mosaic, which I'll play for you guys if, if you haven't seen it, which is the video, but overlaid with the images that are coming in uh, from either people who uploaded here on the site or they're uploading, they're tagging their photos on Flickr with Hope Back Change. We said tag your photos with Hope Back Change, and our our back end is pulling in the images from from Flickr, and it's putting them together with images that have been uploaded. And from there, you can leave a comment, um, and it it's kind of becomes a neat you know way to navigate through all these images of people who are connecting with this idea of Hope Back Change. Um, so. In this new version, we've given you the the ability to watch the mosaic version, or or you can just browse very basically through the images in this way, just very quickly, going through all the images, finding something you like, and leaving a comment. Um, you can also now view all the people who have connected to the campaign, jump into their account, find out who they are, what media they've uploaded what they've saved to their favorites, and what images they've commented on, and jump right into that. So, you know, starting to get, get it further, and once you are, let's see, once you're logged in, um, you'll be able to upload, of course, and then you'll see, you'll see your own media, you'll see your favorites, and then you'll see what you commented on, and then soon coming, you can send your profile to a friend and invite them in. So again, very early stages of a site that has, um, from from a first idea, kind of grown into a site that can, you know, have larger implications. So, so what are you hoping will come out of this? Uh, well, you know, I think the thing is, is that we're, it's an alternative <laughs> to Obama's site, you know, and the idea of it would be, you know, hopefully to help people educate people about the issues and and hopefully. You know, get them to vote. You yeah. know, that would be the main thing. So, what what did you see that was missing in Rock the Vote um, versus what you're hoping to get done with this? Well, Rock the Vote. When I worked on Rock the Vote, it was a long time ago. The really the internet really wasn't a factor, so it was really yeah. just about creating media, you know, commercials and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it was a different, uh, you know, as I was telling you last night, we ended yeah. up registering a disproportionate amount of Republicans. So it was, <laughs> Ended up not being, you know, it wasn't. It was kind of disappointing after a while. So, so, you know, I stopped with that. You know, so, yeah. So, you know, I mean, here I think the thing is, is, you know, I think, uh, especially in view of the last couple of days, Barack needs all the help he can get. You know, so it's like having a place that's outside of the, of his normal on-point message where people can come in, real people can come in and just, you know, talk to one another. I think is valuable for the campaign. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Do you want to just tell us what you're sort of thinking about in terms of the evolution of the website? And the yeah, of sure. Technology? And, you know, I think, you know, one of the things that we all want to do is to make the site much more accessible and a place where 
where people can really be able to bring other people and interact in this place. Right now, the site doesn't do that. We're not, we don't have enough uh, there. People can see and, and connect with the content and add their own content and their own voice into it, but maybe it's a bit separate at this point and not as direct in giving you the ability to, whether it's, you know, just put your own comment in or, or pledge some kind of action that you might take to help out or to vote or whatever it might be. So, you know, we have a basically a laundry list of, of ideas that have come up, some more difficult to integrate quickly than others, but I think ultimately the big goal is to get this site as a place that, first of all, people want to send other people to and, and have it as a place where uh, people can really find some kind of connection. Because I think ultimately the video, how it started with the video and then this idea of the mosaic and everything and the kind of feedback that we've gotten is that it was a very strong artistic expression that people wanted to find a way to connect with in relation to the campaign, whether it was Barack or other people people but probably more Barack focused and so if we can extend that and allow people to to see new stuff all the time that creative people are doing around the country and regular people are doing around the country to find that that connection to hope act and change uh, then I think that we'll be more on the path to success with this I just want to be good Dallas, do you want to punch in with some questions people have thoughts uh, what's the long-term post-election vision? You know, the thing is, is that if, if the site um, has interactivity enough, you know, for me, I'm bored of the video, like I've seen the video, and I don't, I, like, we were talking and saying some people want, would like to see it again. You know, I think if the, if the site actually can be functional and people have a place where they can go and exchange ideas in some rudimentary way, then I think that it could have a, um, a life after that where, you know, there's there's lots of interesting things happening on the web. If the traffic stays really high, you could direct people to other things that are interesting, um, uh, and it could have a life after that. But in the in the short term, it's really just about what it can do for this election, and then if it's if it's it's if it's viable, it can be turned after that to you know doing good things for other things. You know, uh, I'd like to see it survive after that. You know, right now right now the focus is really on all these things. Uh, you know, I think I've shot most of the things that are on the screen there. You know, it's like it needs to have people putting their own ideas in. And and I think that very quickly, if it's going to be useful, it has to get past the idea of any of the videos and get to a place where people are exchanging their own ideas. You know, for example, you know, it's like uh, if Barack gets elected, you know, what's he going to do about the war? You know, and just have a, a discussion about those specific things, you know, like whatever issues are important to people, then I think it's useful and it has a purpose. It really needs a specific purpose now, like a very clear uh, purpose. Otherwise, there's really no reason for it to exist. So, you know, I think it, it's right now, like when you look at it, it's like this is all, all these people are talking about different things, but you look at it and you don't really know that. So, as a first-time viewer, you might come and you might check it out, but without context, it doesn't it doesn't lead you to go further. You know, ultimately, it's got to get away from the videos into some meaningful thing about Barack. And the, and I think the usefulness it can have is there's a lot of stuff Barack can't say at his own website. You know, most of it he can't say there. But if there's another place, because there is just thousands and thousands of things out there for Barack, all, all sorts of things not related to this video. If there's a place you can go and find it all together, I, th I think that could be useful. Yeah. I mean, although I, I'm not sure that we, we necessarily should inhabit that because I think that, you know, this is an artistic expression and some of the other people whose stuff aren't up here yet, like, uh, you know, funnyordie.com, you know, like uh, uh, Adam McKay and Will Ferrell are going to do some stuff that's funny, which I think is good because it, this yeah, stuff is all serious. And then, uh, uh, there's animators uh, doing stuff which is really good and really different, and none of it is, none of it is. Um, there's no on-point message. It's just, hey, do you want to do something for the site? Why don't you do? Some, why don't you, you know, like, there's no like, well, it should be about this. So I think that that's useful. I don't know how much it should take. Um, uh, I think there's all that content, and then I think there's people with cell phones doing stuff, which is just as compelling. And I think the, what, what I'd like to see 
is more uh, context and then more discussion because uh, I don't think everybody wants to be a creator. I don't think everybody is going to shoot something for the site, but they should have a way to participate in it. And uh, and then later, having uh, to answer this long-winded way, I'm answering your question. You know, later there's a lot of sites that that I think. You know, we were talking about Kiva yesterday, which is microloans to people in the third world, and it's like uh, Edward Wilson's site about cataloging all life on Earth is a great thing. Like, there's all these great things that you could direct it to later. But I think right now it's really just about Obama, you know. Um, you know. That's, that's the end. You talk about context. How, how, who sets the context? Well, I think that, you know, we would have to set the context okay. as a group. I mean, I think that it's about providing some rudimentary framework for people yeah. and then them being able to innovate within that as much as they want. Yeah. But I think you probably have to you know, create some sort of structure to it. Yeah. I think the title of the site also helps direct people, you know, that, you know, uh, want to sort of riff on these ideas of hope or and ideas of action or what, you know, I, what we get back a lot is, you know, what this stuff or Barack's speech or the video, what it meant to me, and yeah. they want to say something about that. Yeah. Um, and then if it can grow... I, I think the traffic that we've gotten is because of, you know, using the conduits of some really good creative stuff that makes it more interesting than, let's say, someone's YouTube playlist or something. But from there, you know, there's compelling content that could come from everywhere, you know. And so if we see more dialogue on the site, then people would be probably be more apt to participate or join in or, or put their own word in there as well. So. The, a sort of comment suggestion, I guess. Um, and I'll leave it to much smarter people than I to figure out how to integrate it with the media uh, and artistic aspect. But I would think it would be really cool to have some sort of a simple text-based form that said, you know, what is your hope? Yeah. What action do you pledge to take? And what yeah. change yeah. do you well, hope to see so. out of this? And, and, and then t to have almost, I, I could almost imagine like a dig-like system for members of the site to... Sure elevate the most interesting ones uh, to some sort of forefront of the... Right. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, we were talking about it even just this morning and then even taking it further because, you know, people always say, oh, that's a great idea and let's dig it up and it's on the top, but then maybe there's a pledge that you can, like, pledge and commit to doing something. And what the and, pledge would be, you know. Yeah, or having, like, if you meet someone on the site that you both pledge to do it and hold each other accountable for whatever you pledge to do, whether it's vote or something. Oh. Um, this is all really interesting. So, on the pledge point, have you guys seen the pledgebank.org ever? No. Yeah. So, you might want to check that out. This is started by a project called My Society in the UK, a guy named Tom Steinberg. And you can basically go there and pledge to, I will, you know, clean up the city street if I get 10 other people to agree to do it with me. Or I will, oh, wow. you know, stop buying music from Company X because they're jerks. If, as one of our colleagues did, <clears throat> get you know, got seventy thousand people to sign up to do it, or some crazy yeah. thing like that. So you set a number, a target, and then yeah. you you agree to do it. And I was great. Something like talk. that seems like right. What's in that, it called? It's called uh, Pledge Bank. Pledge Bank. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that sounds. Uh, and it's a guy named Tom Steinberg who's a super smart, uh, odd fellow, um, in the best way. Yeah. Um, on the on another point, the the not everyone's going to film stuff. There is another interesting website called Kaltura.com, I think, K-L-T-U-R-A, where it's basically kind of Wikipedia meets YouTube, as they like to describe it. Um, and you can mash up videos there. So you could see people, I don't know if you really get any uptake on that, if people just mostly want to consume, but if you actually yeah. want to encourage well, people to use the footage that's up there to share that stuff. Yeah, well, I was going to release all of the footage by itself, just the shots, and let them, you know, and the song, so they could just cut the song up and do all the footage. So I think a create and do that with creative, let Creative Commons folks know, right? Yeah. Creative yeah. Commons it, and put it out there, and give them the tools to do it, and say, what are the really creative, you know, we did this, and yeah. this is version one, you guys are going to do 50 other way more profound versions that speak to things that you care about, and that, that are from real people. People are even already doing it on YouTube, like you'll see, like, little chopped up pieces, and then all the parody videos, which are... Really great funny, too. Yeah, which is really great. Good. 
And then we were even thinking with the code. I mean, we're, we've collected basically people join and they, they register from different places. And the idea with the mosaic was that this is just the first visualization that we do this thing. But then once we have the data, we can do data visualization in great ways. So you, we envision a lot of them. And we're kind of throwing it out to the great code coders and, and Flash guys that we know that are hopefully going to take it and use the data and do different things. Like maybe it'll be a map of the United States and you see who's submitting images from where and then you can do a great data visualization with that. But what we would like to do is to just open that up as much as possible and make the API available for any tech people who want to take the code and do whatever they want with it, you know, and hopefully come back and we can feature that visualization from a technology point of view. So if anybody knows anybody who's really talented from a from a coding perspective, I mean, you know, send them our way because we would love the assistance and help and work, you know, that's a part of spreading the message. Top coders. Yeah, top coders or yeah. slash dot we're going to reach out to in all these places that are, you know, open source stuff. Yep. Uh, I just wanted to say that, that what I find amazing about this project is that it seems to catch what was a fundamental both a strategy and a value of the Obama campaign, which is um, using the stories of both uh, Barack Obama himself and then finding a way to tap into the, the basic stories that all of his supporters uh, and explaining why are they supporting him in a, in, a, in a very personal way and not just listing specific issues. So, um, and, I, and I feel that this is really kind of caught into that vibe. Um, and what I would encourage you to consider is um, kind of going in a little, I, I think the um, We Are the Ones video is, is, is artistically uh, great. What, I like, what I'd be interested in seeing is, is, is um, more that is kind of personal and storytelling from the, from the, from the person who is in the video or, or whatever, telling that story rather than necessarily, oh, here's an issue that resonates with me. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a kind of a discipline to how the story is told. That, that has been part of the campaign as well. And I think there's a way to maybe capture that in terms of how people submit their story. You know, the thing is, is that with regards to the people in that video, you know, the, it's very hard because um, uh, to get people to do that, it's really difficult because the first thing is, is they come in and they want to just uh, spew out the issues, especially when you shoot kids, because I shot a bunch of kids for this and their parents just told them exactly what to say and none of it was useful. You know, none of it was useful because you watched it and you just go, it's campaign rhetoric. I think that is the power of it is that, and, and there's more to come with yeah. all the, the interviews. The thing is, is that they're basically just talking about exactly what you're talking about as much as possible. Play, but play it, no, you don't need yeah. to play. But, <laughs> but the, the thing is, is that it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's getting people to talk about, I think that is the problem with politics in general is that it's so much rhetoric. So, so I think that I agree with that. Um, and I, I think what would be great would be to get real people doing that because I'm not that interested in any of these people, you know, uh, they're all your friends. Well, they're not, <laughs> I don't, they're not all friends, but you know, the thing is, is that it's, it's, you know, I think some of them are more compelling than others, but I think real people are always more, uh, it's always the struggle to reduce things, um, uh, like I work on Amex and that's always the struggle with them is they start with this really hard message and then it's like you're always trying to boil it out to get it to what a real person would connect to. So I agree with that. I understand the hope very much. I watch the videos and I'm mm -hmm. inspired. And it's the act and the change that I'm having more trouble you mean kind in of... terms of Barack? Or in, in terms, terms of, of this project. Website. Yeah. Um, because I'm not sure if the act and the change has to do specifically with the short term with this election or if it's beyond that. And so I mean, there's two issues. And I, the thing is, this is that this isn't built on strategy. This is just really built on me saying we should do this. So if it lacks that fundamental focus, it would be my own error. Right. But but what I would say to you is there's two issues. One is, is that young people didn't turn out to vote again. Right. So like. You know, one thing is, and, and young people are the people using this website, so if there's a way to challenge them to actually vote and somehow have some accountability built into the site, that's, then it becomes very compelling and valuable. Um, yeah, and so that's where I was going, where the window for voting has passed for a lot of this country, but so have, has there been any of the targeting for the states who have yet to vote and then for the superdelegates who are... Irrespective of that, because I'm not really involved in the campaign, you know, I've, I've, I've talked to a few of those people, but irrespective of that, 
if people don't vote, if, if young people don't vote in the general election, you know, Democrats are not going to get elected. You know, it's like it's it's an important thing they're not really talking about. But that's the you know, like we talk about, well, you know, Barack's missing this constituency or miss, missing that constituency. But if young people don't come out to vote, he probably nobody will win, you know, so. That's what I think the website can do. I think the website really has to turn towards the general election now anyways, because I, it's not about, you know, there's just a few left. And, you know, I think probably, not that I know anything, because I don't think anybody does, but I think that what you're going to have is an ambiguous answer. And at some point, somebody in the Democratic Party is going to choose who the candidate's going to be. So for the next month or two and after that, and hopefully it'll be Barack, you know, but it's like, I think it's out of the voters' hands at this point, irrespective of whatever happens. So this is really about getting people to participate in the general election. Do you fear that having it be a, an Obama-focused site on some level will alienate youth um, that would be inclined to vote for Hillary? Or? You know, my, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a rabbit. Like, a lot of people hate Hillary. I don't hate Hillary. I just want a Democrat to win, no matter yeah. what, right? And, you know, it, it strikes me as... This will be an incredible choke on on the incredible. If the Democratic Party can't win now, then there will never be another Democratic president ever. You know what I mean? So, so the th the thing is, is you know, you know, it's like it's like, uh, and I think in some small way this can be of assistance. And I think where it really has the best stability, as opposed to Rock the Vote, that's talking to everybody at all times. I think that this is an Obama website, even if it doesn't say this is an Obama website, ultimately it's based on all of his stuff, you know, and I think that the origin of it is the inspiration of his words. So, so, and those words are true whether he wins this election or not. Everything he said in that speech is like, I don't think anybody can disagree with, you know, so I think that it kind of is what it is. But that said, it's, you know, like, um, you know, financially it would have to be a um, nonpartisan website in order to accept funds and we're not going to do that so it's like you know it it kind of is the die is cast it really starts with obama and and works forward from there you know so yeah i had a question about um about integration with other sites and i mean a lot of the challenge i think is is getting and holding the attention of the people that you want to have vote and i'm just curious what kind of as you're moving forward technically what other sorts of popular sites here. Look, I mean, you talked about Flickr, um, but uh, sort of we would, how you're integrating. With yeah, them. we would partner with any site because you know the idea is not to own it, you know. And I think the thing is, is that when we talked about this site, when he was talking about the site in England, it's like, you know, what was it called? Uh, uh, Couture. Pledge, 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 you know, it's like if they can do it and they're interested in doing it, we should just link it and have them do it because it's not about owning this world. It's just about trying to get people to do it. And then the other thing is is to distribute it out so that people can put it on their own websites. And so it's you don't have to come to the site to get it updated. It's like you go to your MySpace page and it's already there. So it's it's both those things I think are important parts of the strategy is that, it, you know, it's too small. You know, it's like there's no budget. So it's it's much better to partner with people and, and just take whatever good that they have that they can possibly do. Much know? better. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one of the things that strikes me about this site is the, the, the production values um, that, that you've put into it and making it easy for people to create relatively sort of hard effort intensive pieces. Um, it, and I think you, you actually wanted people to have to put some effort into it so then it's something that they go and show their friends, look what I did, I've been, uh, yeah. after investing some time, find me in the mosaic. Uh, and spread the word. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, the 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 website uh, visually it it looks very expensive. It costs almost nothing to do all of this. So it costs it's, well, it cost him, but not, <laughs> not, not not me. You know, the thing the thing is Donation is that um, no I think I think that's right. You know, the the question is how to accomplish it because yeah. the thing is is that you can partner with everybody, and it's easy. But unless it has a really specific clear mission, then it's, you know, it can't be all things to everybody. It's got to be something specific. For yeah, people, and I think know. also the draw of it is is sort of the production value, too, because there you do find hundreds of, of different political sites out there. In fact, CNN did a piece on the site, and they did it in the context of a Hillary site, which is Hillary Speaks for Me, which is a, a website where 
someone basically took a YouTube playlist of videos, which is a great thing too. You know, they thought to, to, to take all Hillary videos and sort of the inspiration of why I'm voting for Hillary and why she speaks for me. And then they contrasted that against and said, well, you know, the production, something similar with the values of what people are doing for Obama or, you know, higher. And then they showed our site. And, and you see the contrast. And I think that that's a good, powerful thing, too, because there's a lot of things on the Internet that people sort of see and they sort of walk away from. So if we can get people in with a little bit of production value and draw of, you know, things that are, are done a little bit higher than just simple user-generated stuff, then the bar might be set a little higher for what people submit to the site. You know, oftentimes you can get just random stuff submitted. And, you know, hopefully people see stuff that they care about. You know, a lot of times if you see too much of the, the, the just sort of the filler that people are throwing up into things like this, then it, it loses its power a little bit. So that's a really fine line, and we, we're always thinking about that, and even client-related work, but this is, this is even more specific. Something do they then get back a personalized link that's uh, a link to their submission? Right. I mean, at this point, they they're not. But but in the people section, you know, you'll always be in the people area. And when you log in, you have a my account section that you can hopefully by tomorrow send okay. people to. You know, when you have your uh, area, you know, you can. There's going to be send send this to a friend or link me, find me. Well, and the dig kind of thing. The dig idea, you know, of and just then bringing right. stuff up to the top. And then know? the best stuff should float to the top. I mean, that's where we'd like to go with it for sure. I'm I'm kind of having like two very different um, thoughts about this. Like, one is um, uh, my, my own background is I'm an organizer and like a, a local grassroots organizer, but I also did training for the campaign on the on the, some of their storytelling and at their Camp Obamas. Um, and so one of the things that I see from that kind of organizing perspective is that it's really you, you really can't mobilize without a big goal, and it's bringing together kind of the action of the goal and the creativity of the art that's really powerful. Um, and just one story, I don't know if folks know this, but at some of the Camp Obamas, there was a tradition that started at the end of the training. Um, during the training, volunteer teams were trained how to create precinct teams in their areas and then get out the vote. If you guys are in California, that was one of the places where it happened. But at the end of the training, they launched their teams, and each team created a cheer. Well, these cheers like became little mini dramas, songs, dance, like just really creative expressions, but they're really linked to their commitment to, to mobilize particular numbers of voters in particular districts. And so there's like that link of the action in the art that's really, really powerful. And so part of it is, you know, I wonder, <clears throat> could there be one just, if you're willing to connect to the campaign, one big, clear goal of to win this thing, we got to get this number of voters. And when you log on to this, you're going to make your commitment to the number of voters you're going to well, register against that vote. Well, I think that's a good, yeah, I think that's good, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think it's good. It's, it's you know, the question is um, how to articulate that <laughs> clearly within the site so that you mm -hmm. you understand that that's what the goal is. I mean, could it you be by, by map, by geography, and then you can even look at the other people in your you You can, area. you know, that we have a... a you that vote goals for each area. Yeah, I mean, I think you can. I think that it's... You know, personally, I think it's late to do it for the few remaining places the, because yeah, I don't think that yeah. we're going to have, like, traction particularly yeah. in those places. So it, it becomes about, it becomes about like, kind of right now a general message and then a specific message of getting people out to vote so that he does get elected. You but, know? I mean, is there going to be a goal on the site? Like, this is how many votes we need to get in the election? Yeah. Well, th that's why we're here. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe that's what will come out of it, you know. Yeah. But I agree with it. That's a very clear goal. Yeah. yeah, and it's nice to have that because, and you know, the, the trouble we always face is no one reads on the Internet. So when people come to websites, how do you get the message across really clearly and quickly, you know, and not bury the story and try and... Yeah, you might have to write it. Yeah. You may have to write it. Oh. You just volunteer. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I a whole other trajectory, which is that... Um, you do, you know... Now you might have to do two things. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, this is an ask for name? you, so you yeah, might have yeah. to help me out. Is that the other part that I feel when I hear this song is that, um, that beyond the campaign, that this song, to me, starts to feel like the motivating song of our generation. 
um, around how we want to change the country, and that all social movements have had music, have had songs that carry them forward, and um, like seeing this as a platform that people could weave into, like, so I organize Christians, so we sing all the time, and you just keep singing the same songs over and over, and it motivates lots more people, and it's simple, and you learn how to do it, and so seeing this move into um, lots well, of other venues, civic society. Would be great. It is really a folk song at this point. You know, yeah. I mean that's why those kids are doing yeah. it on the stage. You know, exactly. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think so. So it transcended now the campaign to me. Mm -hmm. The song has become. Yeah. I think. I think it's sort of like it's about this generation and this generation wanting to do something. Yeah. Uh, and I think there's a, so again as Catherine asked, what what happens beyond the campaign? You know, and the election. There's something around. Sure. How this becomes a vehicle. You know, one of the ideas was if people wanted to, they could. Well, a couple things. We're just going to put the song out with the lyrics just on black and let people turn a camera around and film themselves singing the actual song. And then the other thing would be to have it um, have a random... If they did that, then you could literally cut them into the actual video so that they could have their own... You know, they could have their own version of it singing with these people, you mm -hmm. know? We do it in modern versions of the pieces that you could pass around and people could sure. reproduce them. There's, like, a platform. Mm-hmm. And that's, that happened right off the bat, you know, yeah. like three days later there was the kid with a guitar on YouTube doing the song and then there was another one and then there was parodies and things and so, and, and, and choirs and, and you know, sure. so it's sort of happening anyway, which is a great thing to watch because anytime, there's also um, a site out there that's, uh, that, that we found which, you know, we had people tag on Flickr, Hope Act Change comes into our mosaic, well, someone else took that tagged Flickr images and made their own visualization on their own website, which is great. You know, it's like they did their own thing, and you go to their website, you see the images coming in in a different way. So it's almost like it's a conduit, and let people just keep doing more stuff with it. That's why we like the Flickr idea, because it's kind of something that people are using anyway. And if we if we integrate a pledge bank, or we integrate a dig, or, 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 or all these things that people get to do anyway, make it a little easier to, to get involved if, if they're not going to actually go out and film a nice produced video on their own. Yeah. Comment, but I'll make it <coughs> uh, channel David Weinberger and not be afraid. Um, I, so I just want to loop a couple of these together. Um, and I think that uh, going back to Becca and Catherine, I mean really all these comments are about the act part of it. And the Election is problematic on a number of different fronts, and I also hear you're saying, you know, we need to focus. This, this, we need to be a purpose-built kind of. We need to have our focus now, and I, I agree. I think that's, you know, I'm with you. But I also think election is tough. It's binary, right? To some extent, it's already done. The first part of it, and some kingmaker or queenmaker yeah. is going to choose in some really weird way, right? Yeah. And that's kind of freaky, and that's the kind of thing that turns off many people to uh, the political process. Sure. Um, yeah, and then there's going to be another episode of that in uh, November, and you know, the heaven only knows what we're going to end up with, who's going to be the kingmaker at that. It could be a great election. Sure. Um, and we could end up with another debacle. Um, and then, again, people get alienated. Um, yeah. So I think there's a, there's a risk to, to hitching the horse to that as the be-all, end-all, and as the only thing. Yeah. Um, I think, so that's one part. Another part is to the pledge act, what are you going to do, whether it's about the campaign, and maybe that's the appropriate thing, to get people starting to act now. And, and acting one way could be making another video or some other thing, but to doing something in the world and being part of the Hope Act change and saying it's not just about what our leaders do, it's about what we all do. Yeah. And, and that that may be linked to the election or may not need to be linked to the election because it's about you know, that change becoming reality. Now, to Jesse's comment about young people not voting, it's true, right? Young people don't vote, but they are hugely civically engaged, right? This is the most active generation in forever, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Um, and so there's a disconnect, there's an odd disconnect there. And I think that goes back to the first point of the sort of repulsion for the way the political process is. Um, and I think, and I wonder if there's a connection there. And I don't know, I, I hear you not wanting to get into issues in this space, but I don't know how you bridge that gap, and then if you think about wanting them to either in the lead up to the general election or, and ideally post-general election, to continue to be civically engaged and civically minded and being part of the generation that says, yes, we can, we are going to, you know, we're going to dare to hope, and then we're going to make it happen. Yeah. And so, I, so, so there's something in there about how you bring people, you know, how in this small way 
um, mix with others, you bring people along. Yeah. And then the second question I'm just going to throw out as a leader is about scale, how this thing scales, yeah. scalability. That's less interesting. You know, the thing is, is that, um, you know, I was just at TED uh, a couple days ago, and Al Gore gave uh, one of the keynote addresses, and he, he talked about how we as Americans have a, um, you know, a duty to be involved in uh, politics, you know, and just to act, you know, and he said that that was the greatest uh, challenge kind of facing of our time. And, uh, you know, I think that's true. I think the thing is, is that, you know, personally, I'm not a political person, you know, so I'd love if there was a way for people to be involved. You know, it's like, I think we should all do good, you know, so the question is, you know, in a lot of these places, like, you know, I was talking about Kiva or, or stuff like that, I think is great. The question is, you know, you, I don't think you can be all things to all people. So I don't know where the line is or how you do it. I mean, personally, you know, I want to see Obama get elected and then I want to hold him to actually doing these things he's talking about, you know, not just get him elected because it isn't going to end there. It's just going to start. Um, but I agree with you. If there's a way to make it, if there's a way to have your cake and eat it too, I think it's good. It's, it's harder to do because, um, you know, it's like I find that any one thing can say one thing at the end of the day. You know, it's really hard to do anything that says two things. So it's it's really about what those those pages are, what those opportunities of things for people to be involved in. If it's a challenge of what what they can be involved in, um, and some of them aren't necessarily directly related to the campaign, I think that's a good thing, and it, it would start to kind of do that message. Although I think that it it's a very fine line. And then in terms of scalability, I mean. Um, you know, it's it's completely scalable. I mean, we have unlimited uh, bandwidth. You know, the issue is, and and you know, the video. You know, the first video was made for less than ten thousand dollars, and twenty million people saw it. So it's like, you know, we expected ten thousand people to see it. So the issue is, is that it's as scalable as the the ideas are. If the ideas are good, then people will respond and they will come and they want to be a part of it. Right now, those twenty million people aren't staying at a website to check it out you know it's like if we if we design it well enough and it's interesting enough this is why i keep saying outside of the video then i think what happens is people stay and and there's something for them that's meaningful you know you have to create meaning you and, know? The, and, and evolve it as well like the, the the visitor the user the person that's interacting with the site that i don't you have unlimited bandwidth but i don't right right and that's so right. how am i gonna how is this that's exactly how is the meaning it. gonna build to a right. point where it's not just it's deeper and it's more and I could go to look at more and more people, which maybe works. You know, some amount of like web 2.0 things float to the top. But the, I think there's more about it is whether it's filling in the map or the mosaic or doing other things that allow us to continue to get to get the full richness as the yeah. thing yeah. grows. No, I mean, there's and as you the come up with different part. strands. Yeah, I mean, the evolution part of that is, is big. You know, I mean, I think that that any good if we're successful at getting to that point it's going to be about starting from okay something that's immediate and politics is a great platform for that it's it, you know look at the everyone's obsessed with it in the country and the turnout and all of this so it, it's kind of given the platform to maybe some bigger ideas you know that people can latch on to so maybe it's a process where we can sort of evolve that and we've talked about trying to put out some very specific questions on the site say what do you think about whatever it might be, and then hearing responses to that and, and people having that dialogue back and forth and maybe pushing up the best comments to the top and tying it into some pledge, okay, well, don't just say it, now you've got to do it. And that can always expand and expand from that point. And, you know, evolving that is a great thing. You know, maybe we draw them in and use the platform of the politics, and then it evolves down the road. Yeah. Although I'd say it's all very gray right now. Yeah. Without, we don't have any substantive... You know, point of view on that. <laughs> a little bit. So Sebastian's asked me to uh, talk loud for the webcast. So okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to yell at you, but uh, what you've created is obviously something that's very, very powerful. I, I agree that you can't be everything to everybody, and there's a number of niches that you could define out there. Um, kind of half question, half suggestion. Uh, I think a single purpose focused thing is makes all the sense in the world to me. Uh, one of the reasons being that you can, in a sense, be everything for everybody on the internet because you create a different space and a different message on a different web page for every event. 
and those single purpose things are probably going to prevail over things that try to do everything. That being said, there's a lot of niches there. You, for me, the most compelling one is to draw people into the political process that would not be drawn in otherwise were it not for watching such a powerful video as, as you've created. And then the question is, in which direction do you, do you try to give them a nudge? Um, and that's really the, the key question for me. I think voting is the nudge you want to you do them. And the pledge bank is a very powerful way to perhaps coalesce people and actually get them to vote. Yeah. I also think that November is a long, long way away. That's right. And the challenge is to keep momentum going that far. Um, I don't know if you have another one in you, but... Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we may do one more, but I, I don't... You well, vote for I, the general election, you know. Right. Well, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I think this discussion and this kind of thinking would best inform a strategy for the next one that just yeah. says... Where's the nudge going? Where, where's the next yeah, place yeah. it's going to go from there? Mm -hmm. I, I think sort of, sort of following on Rob's point, I think the, the video is what draws people in um, and, and gets people interested and intrigued and, hey, I'm, I'm paying attention to this now. And so I think the question, too, is not only what is the issue you want to focus on, but what, what does this website offer that is different from what other people are offering in yeah. terms of, of the levers it can pull in a person to, to make them want to act, whatever that action is that we're trying to inspire. And yeah. to me, one of, the, one of the things that this type of site could do is making an individual <laughs> feel part of something much larger, which is much what the Obama campaign has been trying to do more generally with, with people. And I think, and I think particularly things like the mosaic, things like, you know, if you had a pledge for people saying, okay, I pledge to vote in the election, or I pledge to vote in a Democrat in the election, or whatever, right. whatever the pledge is, if you can use some way then to help visualize just how many people this is who have pledged, right. you know, create a photo mosaic yeah. that yeah. is, you know, each person gets to contribute one image to include in this mosaic and it shows just how big this is by the thousands and thousands and thousands of, of images that you're sure. seeing or something like that. I yeah. think that's the kind of thing that, to me, this site offers that other of the thousands of internet sites out there yeah. are trying to get people to vote or to participate don't have. No, that's right. a great idea. I mean, thinking of our map idea, if, if people are uploading from, from different places, uh, images coming in, that's then we can overlay the pledges as well, and you can see the gaps, and people start to realize, well, it's nice to upload a picture, but did you pledge anything? Did you did you actually make a call to to act on something? And seeing the gaps, and maybe New York is doing well, and you know Ohio is kind of not doing well, or whatever, you can kind of well, obviously get well. <laughs> Uh, you know, you can start playing around and saying, come on, Ohio, get with the program, let's go, and push, and people can start a dot. That's really an uh, interesting thing. Pushing people, yeah. put your money or your time where your mouth is. That's what know? it is. You know, the Internet is a really safe place to kind of say a lot of things and not do a lot of things. Um, you know, on, over the weekend, um, the Obama campaign, you know, they sent out the email, and they, they have a great Internet strategy, and their website's fantastic, and they sent out the email to, you know, okay, do the phone calls in Texas, right? And so you got your own personal list of 20 people. But I have to imagine after myself getting the list and my kids were screaming at me, you know, on a Saturday and thinking about trying to make these calls, I have to imagine how many people, you know, what followed through on it, you know? And, you know, it, it kind of goes to those arguments of, you know, people talk, those silent Bush voters that, that happened in the last election. People say and do different things all the time. And the internet is a fairly safe place to say and do different things too. So how could we move the bar maybe a little bit closer through pledging, through uh, a buddy system we were talking about? If you you commit to your friend and say, Kareem, I'm going to vote, and he says, all right, I'm going to make sure you're going to do that, you know, something that that can allow people to sort of live by what they say a little bit more. It'd be great if we can push it further that way. You know? Actually, end up. One knock against Obama is that he's just a speech and That's he right. can't really get anyone to actually do anything. So just in the lead up to, you know, <laughs> if he is the nominee, in the lead up to the general election, being able to point to this will diffuse some of that if people actually are 
pledging in big numbers um, to say that they will vote. Whether they actually do is going to be a different story, but there's a, at least counters that um, message in the media that he's only a speech and he can't really inspire people to to actually do something about it. Yeah, that's the classic momentum in, in elections right now. And, you know, I guess after yesterday, you know, that kind of slows down and people start asking the question. If it went a little different, then everyone would, would just be like, wow, look, at you see, it's not just words. And now it's sort of, now it opens up the hole to, well, maybe it is just words and no one's kind of following through. So how do you fill that gap a little bit? Yeah, and start getting yeah, I think, out. you know, what we've seen in other, other settings is that, uh, Participants need something to do, right? Especially as Rob said, that you know the end game is November, right? There's got to be a bunch of things to be to be done physically, virtually. I mean, you almost need action of the week or something that sort of gets people to come back to the site or be plugged in through a widget. But then there has to be something to do. Yeah. So whether that's taking the pledge, whether it's like having a meeting in their neighborhood, you know, and and so on. So there, I think there almost needs to be this. Action of the week is a great idea. You know, yeah, the, swarming, kind of the swarming idea. You know, yeah. we played around with that on a couple of projects earlier, yeah. which was, you know, I told you about the Aeropostale thing, yeah. which is, you know, go this weekend here. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, there are things that happen with that. And, you know, if, if you can start seeing some success, well, actually, you know, 50 people actually yeah. did show up there at this place. Yeah, and it can be as cheesy as Hands Across America, you know, you know that kind of, but, but I think, I think, Making people do things, mm. that people want direction to some degree. Yeah, and I think having that integrated in really cool. uh, would be would be a way to keep the yeah, keep people idea. interested. It's simple too. It's very easy. Yeah. You can just you know. Well, I would add on that too that um, if those actions can build on each other, so that you're like you're building up to something yeah. that's pretty significant by the election date. So if you yeah. got a lot of writing ahead of you. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 you really do. You've been recruited. Can I reinforce what, what Catherine was saying? Is is that um, I think the one of the critiques of of the Obama campaign, I think, is is that you know that he's not saying anything specific, but the argument from the campaign and from him is that no, it actually takes all of you to do this. And one of the strengths of not being part of the campaign. Is that those people who are kind of attracted to the campaign and the politics of it would 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 go in that direction, but what what I what I'm curious about is if there isn't a way that if you're, you're talking about maybe these weekly actions, that it that you could take some of the issues that that he's saying like let's take healthcare, for health, the argument that he's making is for us to actually change the healthcare system of this country, millions of people across the country are going to have to put pressure on Congress to make that change happen, and so I'm wondering if if Kind of in line with, of what Catherine is saying in terms of showing that that's that's going to happen by starting on that action now is is powerful. In other words, um, that's not something that the campaign or, or he would dare to do right now. But Stand it's something that is yeah exactly. <laughs> but for 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 the supporters, uh, whether they're supporters of him or not, actually, um, to say we are going to regardless, we are going to put so much pressure on Congress to change healthcare that it is going to happen. And for that to start happening now, and that kind of proves the point that it's up to us and not the president to make that change happen. And I'm wondering if an issue like that, and maybe that one's too big, but I don't, something no, I like that would help show. A, I think it's a really good idea to um, take between now and the election and then just have these, just on a calendar, just put out these, these uh, kind of actions for people to do, I think is a great idea. I also think that if you can do a lot of them on the internet, if they're not all in the real world, if a lot of them are actually on the internet, I think that it, 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 uh, I think it becomes even more powerful. Because then what happens is it becomes a story unto itself that can keep perpetuating and pushing forward. Right. It's always news for Obama, you know. It would be amazing to too, is, is uh, some of the most powerful stories I've heard have been people talking about not having health care and what happens to their sure. family when it happens. And it would be just if you could collect millions of stories about what's happening across the country in that respect, that that alone would be powerful. Yeah, I think it's pro it's about having a calendar and then just creating the opportunities through the site so that, you know, it's like now we want to collect your stories about healthcare. Yep. In two weeks, we're going to be yep. doing something with this. Yep. But right yep. now, we're just yep. yeah. I mean, it, yeah. the the homepage here, this big blank slate, right? We can do whatever we want and say whatever we want. It's about, you know, what our 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 what we can get organized to to say because you can't say everything and you don't want to say everything and you want to be specific and you want to. You know, we want to also get away from just this 
neat artistic mosaic, let that draw people in, sure, and let more people do great stuff with data visualization and all that. But if there is something specific that we can add in and drive people to do and it becomes successful, then the story starts generating. Wow, they did yeah. this, and then the next thing, and the next well, thing, and that can kind of build. It's just better for Obama. It's all stories for Obama. Right. You know, ultimately, that's what it, it has to do. You know? Yeah. sense to have voting as an invisible but a clearly not stated goal. Um, and I think of that for two reasons. One is, you know, we talked about the new vote and why it's so horrible. And I think a couple of reasons. One, we get we get voter driven to death. Everyone, it's, it's kind of like quit smoking. It's like we know we should probably quit smoking, but it's also sometimes not the cool thing to do. So if you can find a way to make acting um, or just going out and changing the world, as your kind of rebellious goal, then people are going to realize that you know voting is going to be part of that. Um, if this like, and, and, and I also worry about what happens to the, the legitimacy of Hope Act change once the campaign's over, because if everything is so focused around this voter-centric drive, come November, it's just like we don't see rock the vote commercials in non-elections. And my worry is, yeah. you know, people going to Hope Act change. So, I mean, if, if we could think of a way to have voting and very implicit, but, you know, make like a strategic decision um, in the beginning to not necessarily put that in, you know, bright red letters at, you know, the top of the page. Because I, I, I know a lot of people would probably look at that and would probably click away because they're like, oh, God, here's another, you know, Obama site that Preaching I'm going to have to, yeah. you know, pledge to vote and i got to call 50 people by tomorrow and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm too busy. And, and if you avoid that keep it on, oh wow, I'm gonna, you know, plant a tree for the cause or I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe it is doing a voter drive, maybe it is volunteering. Um, and I, I know you're probably giving me the cynical eye. I mean I, I know there's a lot of statistics about reminding people and 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 you know I'm and Ferg is, you know, very good about about uh, telling me that. Um, but I'm I'm much more of a cynic because it's been tried and I guess the definition of insanity is you try something again but that, you know, expecting different results and I think it's time that, you know, we have the content. Let's rejuvenate the, the context around getting people to actually change yeah, the world. Yeah, I mean, if we can, you know, if I think we can leave it to the users on a lot of the stuff they want to hope and act and change about or, you know, um, to some extent. And it's still trying to, <laughs> it's trying to do this thing that I think a lot of people are trying to do and probably Pledge Bank is thinking they can make a difference with and everyone's trying to make a difference with, which is connecting people's, what they say, connecting what people say to what they actually do. And that's, if, if we can push that a little bit, then, you know, then it'd be great. And then also to the point of Hope Act change beyond the election, I think Wes had a great <laughs> point last night, which is, guess what? The day after the election is when you got to start working because, okay, you everyone said all this stuff, and then who who's going to hold them accountable eventually, you know, uh, to all of these things? And then it can become kind of that powerful thing to, 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 you know, hold the line on all of these issues that have been rhetoric during the campaign. Pick up on two on this point that you just made and what Gene said earlier about the kind of the where the politicos are going to go versus where the rest of us are going to go and maybe those of us who don't care so much about the the fight of politics but care about the the values or what the world we have and I like the idea of you know it's not about voting for a candidate it's about your vote is I plant the tree or I do the thing that I I should do to make the world a better place right and you're voting and it goes back to Rachel's about the kind of the anthem for a generation. It's voting that we're going to be part of this hope act change sort of cycle, and that then it's not candidate dependent, and it's not dependent on the election, and it doesn't mean that it, the the only goal is to get Barack elected. The the goal is to get that hope act change thing happening where we're all part of it, and I think and that you know in the Barack versus the W, you know the difference there, right, is that I'm you guys don't have to sacrifice everything versus you have to sacrifice, and I think people need to start to sacrifice whether or not the president tells them that they have to sacrifice and that those votes to, to sort of accept sacrifice and to do their part are a really significant step in changing the political system and changing lots of things. So I, I think it's worth exploring that further. I also, just on the 
um, just thinking about other people who have gone through something similar, it seems totally useful to look at the move on experience and sure. to talk to the move on folks. I don't know if you have already. You know, the thing is, is that they, they would, um, uh, they want the video. They've tried to, to, to bully us into just taking it, although I don't want that on the webcast. But, uh, <laughs> on there. you know, the thing, the thing <laughs> is, is that it's, it, the thing is, is I think that they're so, uh, I think they're an incredibly effective organization, and I think that our thing is, uh, in some ways, less political. You know, it's like, it's like, that's so hardcore political. It's like, it's like we want to be kind of at, at an alternative to that. You know, the thing is, I agree with what you're saying about um, it, that positioning, the difficulty of that is the exact nomenclature that actually accomplishes it because it's, it's one thing to say it out like that, it's another thing to actually uh, thread the needle of it and make it effective that way. That strikes me as, as exactly what we'd want to do, it's just how to, how to, actually, how to actually accomplish it. Right. You know? Just to clarify, I wasn't suggesting you follow Move On, I was suggesting just to look at experiences of other organizations and the choices that they make and made and didn't make and they're what the implications good. are. Team you know, for America is Dean, yeah. analogous. And, and, it, yeah, and as you yeah. talk about kind of a swarming and stuff, to think about what you can accomplish with swarming and what you can accomplish with swarming. Yeah. And so there's some, yeah. there, I think there's a lot, I mean, this is not to say you need to move from a place where this is kind of an inspired, um, in, artistically inspired to a thing where you need to be coldly, you know, attempt to be coldly strategic about everything. Sure. But I do think that some amount of, you know, research on the sides because I mean, this is the kind of stuff that a lot of folks around here think about a, a lot of the time. And does you know what happens on the net translate to real world? And there's a right. there's a big question mark next right. to that. And to think about where it, where it is likely to translate and where it isn't, right. and and what are the things that you can learn about you know from these other experiences and how do you what do you do with your knowledge about your audience and the fact that they're not politicos that they don't want to be, you know, yeah. right? Like how far do you push? And I think that's the the great thing is that this video made people stop, and a lot of them, and then, you know, we got the traffic to the site, and then it's sort of without the trying, you know, part, and people will probably gravitate to that kind of stuff because it's their own, it's like we're pulling instead of pushing, you know, and and uh, and that's that's always a good thing because that people come in with, on their own volition, and then they probably more open to doing things versus being told to do certain things. And that balance is always is always neat. Like I think about like even Shepard Ferry's posters. I mean, right. you know how he just did this Obama one. But even before he did this, it's just a it's just a statement that went out, caught fire, made people start thinking about stuff. And there's something interesting about that. And then, but once you once you cross that line into doing more more of the push, is when maybe some some of the cynics and the non politicos and all those people start tuning out a little bit. And you know that's always a really fine line. Mail. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's the thing. I did too. You know, and yeah. I, I do too. And it's like, you know, when it gets to be too much, Brave New Films is another one. You know, they do great stuff, but then it's just, it's just so heavy. It's just so heavy. You know, it's so much of that stuff. There's something nice and light about this, where it's just about great, great things and you know, emotions. You know, and if, it's where we need a clarity of purpose and you have to decide what the purpose is and yeah. the and to say larger let's inspire people to act well if you can't inspire them to spend half an hour or an hour on election day to put in the person in power who we think will make a difference in our day what do we really feel that we can inspire them to do apart from defining what they want to do themselves and do we not have that already and uh, I think there's, you know, I, I don't want to in any way belittle the obstacles of getting people to the voting booth. People have tried a million ways. I think it's still worth trying. And I think that there's still inroads to be made by doing it in a more compelling way. And uh, my vote, not that it counts here. We're <laughs> 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 not your hand. Do <laughs> <laughs> Just like the party. Find, find a concrete action, which is go vote. And if the government in in 2009 is not going to be one that's representative of the wishes of the people, it's not going to be because of me. And I'm not doing it for Obama. I'm doing it for myself. And I'm doing it for you and me. And to change the 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 kind of the the sense of political responsibility 
of people who have not voted and yeah. ensure that they understand that it's their responsibility to, to take ownership. Do you think that that could link into um, local elections as well, yeah. as mm -hmm. far as they're having the deadline of, you know, post-election? Well, yes and no. General I think that, that, that message transcends Obama, but uh, again, you have a you have a very difficult messaging problem in that are you about Obama or are you about something larger? And um, not as a criticism, but just a, a, an observation, the one thing that's puzzled me and other people about this so far is what is it about? What is it about Obama or is it about something larger? And people have asked me that question and before today I haven't been able to answer it and today I can walk out and say it's about Obama, yeah. which I think is good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it can only be about him. I think long term it can diversify into something else, but I think it's built on the back of of uh, you know, Obama's speech. That's the that's the fundamental piece of it. It's 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 not nonpartisan, it's his actual words. It's like that's the origin of it all. So you can't I think you have to you know, because there's been a lot of discussion internally with the people who've made it about it uh, about that and it's like you know, the first, the very first version of the song didn't, of the, of the video didn't even have Obama cut into it. You know, it's like, and then we had this discussion where it's like, no, to be really truly effective, it has to actually be about him, because the idea was just to do something for him. You know, so I, I think that it can't escape really being about Obama at this moment in time. And if you did that, if you leaned it too far the other way, then you'd have no constituency. People are coming because they're supporting Obama, they're not coming for a general message. So I think it would be disingenuous to diversify beyond that at, th at this point. Although I do think later, you know, it can become about a whole bunch of other things because at that point it can just be like, well, we made this thing, he got elected, hopefully, and then, you know, now it could be about something else, you know? You know, it can grow into that. I think it distinguishes this potentially from Move On as, uh, for one, as one example and the campaign as another is that Move On is interest-based and it is that kind of hard edge, we're gonna win or we're gonna lose. And the campaign is person-based. It's this person who's running for uh, a candidacy. And I think the potential of, of what you're talking about is that something that's values-based, that you're looking deeper than just, we're gonna win or lose this particular issue. And so, you know, if you're getting people to tell their stories about why these values resonate with them, I think you can even take the parts of the speech and you could kind of cut them up into the different, you know, the workers who organize the, uh, you know, uh, King of the Tukas and Mountaintop, these are all different values that we have and kind of you can, there. those would be kind of your platform. Mm -hmm. And what would be amazing would be that with the storytelling, the purpose of it really is to then develop those relationships between people. And that's something that's been incredibly difficult and I'm not saying that, that I have any ideas about how you would accomplish that. If there's a way to build small communities where they are committing to each other because of those common values, not just to do something, but although you want them to do something, but that they are forming those relationships and in that way they're having accountability just even indirectly. That would be something that would be powerful enough to survive whatever happens in terms of elections uh, into, into something bigger. A hopeful cynic um, is that sort of, yes, we want to, to form communities, and yes, we want people to feel they're uh, a part of a larger whole, but really that's for one purpose, to get them to go out and vote, and uh, if we can get them to feel that this is a real movement, uh, enough that they feel bound to other people in the movement, that they go out and vote, uh, then sort of it's great if this continues after the election and uh, enables them to, within smaller or larger communities, go off and do other things, but it served its purpose. Uh, yeah. And so lots of the, the things that I see about community building are to get people invested enough that they feel, all right, if I spent two hours polishing my video to put it up on the site, the least I can do is vote and call my friend uh, offer him a ride to the polling place and make sure that that, I mean, since people don't think about it in terms of sunk cost versus uh, other costs, well, I've got to make that sunk cost valuable by uh, yeah. going out and voting. Uh, yeah. So I, I see a lot of this as how do we give people the hooks that make them uh, go out and take 
these particular actions that will actually uh, make a difference in the election. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I also think there's a difference between sharing with people what the goal is. So the goal is, okay, if it's, if it's this, uh, getting Obama elected, and, and that can be empowering. And the, I, I feel like maybe the danger that um, a friend here is talking about is that... John. John, okay. <laughs> that it'd be kind of more like marketing with a hook. Like you come to the site and you're inspired by the video and then you're sort of paternalistically told, now you need to vote. So it's sort of what's the difference between sharing with people a big goal that you can be part of versus telling them you well, should do Well, I also thing. think that the vote, you know, I think you can do that in the week before the election. Right. You know, it's like you don't need to tell people to vote now because there's nothing. They're not going to remember if you tell them now. You know, <laughs> there has to be other things for them to do up until. Well, this is our calendar. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but I do think I, I, I think I think <coughs> Wendy's point in particular gets back to that that idea of is the point of the site to get people to vote, or is that more of a well, or is the point of the site to make people feel a part of something bigger? So that they want to vote. You, you know, know, the thing I, is, I, I do think there's a distinction okay. there. Yep. The original intention of the video was to get people to participate in the election. So, you know, I think that it's it's that's in it. That's that's why we made it originally. And I think that the, you know, I'm I'm hopeful that there can be a life after it. But the real of the 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 point of the effectiveness is is whether it actually people do actually participate and vote. You know, so I think that I think that. It's right not to talk about voting for a long time because there isn't going to be any voting for a long time in the general election. And then, you know, it should be a big push to get people out to vote in that last, you know, week or two, whatever people think is the right amount of time. Um, when, when, we first, uh, when we first became involved with this, we were really excited about the video beyond its, like, so looking at the video beyond just its capability to get people to vote or its motivation to get people to like Obama. We were sort of in talks with you guys, sure. saying like, wouldn't it be great if we could decouple this from the campaign and take it and and not even mention Obama per se, but make it sort of a, a site about inspiration. And I think, you know, sort of what what we were talking about a little bit earlier was having voting become like an after effect or a second or third order effect of just getting people together in our generation that are that are willing to talk about being inspired are willing to change, to change and are willing to sort of share things that inspire them. It doesn't have to be something about Obama. Right. It doesn't have to be something, it could be a movie, it could be a poem they read, it could be a drawing they made. And to me, I think that's that's particularly powerful. Yeah. And I think to, to say, to sit here and say that our end motivation is to get people to vote, I think may undermine this video that we have that, that 30 million people or 30 million hits have, you know, people have watched this video been inspired by something that's greater than just being told to vote. Right. I think they can go to Obama's webpage and, and be told to vote, and they can go to many other webpages and, and be told what they can do to make an impact somewhere. But I think the reason why they're coming to this video is because it, it stirs something emotionally that's yeah. like greater than just Obama. And I wonder if we can harness that in some way, do something positive that's beyond just voting. Yeah, I, th I think the, the tension you're raising is this, like, is it transcendent? beyond the campaign, right? And I think there's a set of actors coming in saying, wow, this is really moving, really inspiring, and I want to do just more than just vote. And versus the sort of the, the rational goal of let's get you out and get you to right. vote. And I think right. that's the sort of the, 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 the two parts that are sort of circling around yeah. this effort. Yeah. Yep. And there almost needs to be, I don't know if you balance it or you just pick one, you say, that's what we're going to do now. Right. It seems like you're going to say, we're going to do this, which is like get people yeah. to vote and have ways to get the commitment devices out there for them to come through, versus sort of this this larger desire to say, wow, this is like a, a generational yeah. anthem, and this can be the vehicle to mobilize change across the generation, regardless of your... I think it's going to be up to the people. I mean, you know, it's like, where does this go? It's just, you know, a lot in this room is figuring that out, and yeah. then, um, you know, trying to see what people want to take from it. You know, I think people have been putting things in the video, or at least ideas behind it, that probably Jesse and the guys didn't even think about. And then sure. we hear things on the website that we never expected. It's always when, you know, for the web projects that our company does, 
whenever people start doing things with the sites that we never expected is always the best success. And I think with this, if if Dave's saying it's got to be bigger than that or you know become a movement, well, okay, maybe that's the way it's got to go, or or maybe it's got to get more specific, but. There's something I think kind of night. I mean, it's very difficult. I mean, this is what I, I'm grappling with in my head, and especially trying to put a project plan in, in place to actually do something on the site. But it's sort of like everyone's got all these different ideas for it, um, and that might be a really good thing, that it's just sort of this general expression of many different things. But in the end, if there are goals to be done or if there's going to be a focus to the site, uh, then we do have to figure some of that out. I, I sometimes I don't think it's so bad to people coming to the site and saying, "Well, what is this all about?" Or, you know, is this is this Obama site or is it just about hope? Or there's there's something okay about that because it's not pushed on you. You know, it's sort of just here it is. Some artists got together. Some people put some stuff out there, and here's what it is. It's almost like it's just this expression, and where that expression goes is sort of well. What do people read into it, and what do they want to make it? And so if, if we just kind of create the platform there to allow people to communicate more here, it's almost like it's going to go on its own, hopefully, in the way that people want to take it. And, and then that leads to sort of, you know, do, well, then, is this focused enough, you know, and, and can this become something yeah. else? But if I, if I put on my B-School hat, uh, I mean, there, there needs to be some sort of uh, an organizing principle and an organizational plan, should say, once the floodgates come in, how will you make decisions? Yeah. Who will make the decisions? What decisions do you make? What do you say yes to? What do you say no to? A lot of it can be emergent, but you need almost some kind of a thinking around. Sure. So like, for instance, if you say you're going to open up the website, well, are you going to release the APIs? And you know, what, how far will you go yeah. that way? You know, if it's the context, raising, like who, who can submit context ideas? Who, will there be curators of the site? Will there be you know, yeah, community right, managers. Right. Yeah, I mean, and so it's on. what we were talking. And I think that there does have to be that because there are so many hundreds of sites out there that can just be basically open platforms. I mean, there is a. We have to figure that out and get, you know, get sort of a direction going. It's just, it's 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 tough. It's tough to think of that. You know, I mean, the easiest thing to say right now is is what it was designed to do, which is, you know, get people to vote and yeah. support Obama, yeah. and you know where it goes from there. It's, I think it's actually not about getting people to vote. It's like it's it's about getting people to believe that it's okay to believe in taking civic action, yep. and about mm -hmm. getting people to believe that it's like it's okay to invest yourself in doing something mm -hmm. civically engaged. That here's the time where if if enough people say it, you aren't going to get slapped in the face for it. Mm -hmm. right. So the I really don't think it's about voting. I think it's I think if, like the message I took the first time I saw this the song was that like, wow, here's a whole bunch of people who are actually willing to talk about the fact that they're willing to believe in the idea that they mm -hmm. could be part of making a difference. I think the what the site needs to do is change the theme from being yes we can to being yes I will. It needs to be there like there needs to be a challenge now to the people who are who have been engaged who who are connecting to the inspiration, not necessarily being inspired, but saying, okay, yes, that little part of me that wants to believe that we can do something really awesome, there's other people who are willing to, to not shoot me down for that. Mm -hmm. um, and that the core to that, I think, would be like issuing, like issuing a challenge to say, like, let's make your own videos, get together with people that we'll help you connect with in your local community, people that you might then be able to get involved with, you know, by going out and door knocking or something like that come the general election, but right now, Maybe get them together, you know, and say, let's have a party and let's make our own video. Don't use this song. Make your own song or do your own thing or something like that. Or maybe you shoot the raw footage and we'll help connect you to somebody in Omaha who's really good at video editing. And they'll help you figure it out so that you don't have to have all the skills. You don't have to have everything. But, like, I think right now, like, the real important goal is connecting people to other people who are all willing to say, yes, I'm willing to believe in something. Because... When you don't have that kind of political community, you don't you lose your faith in the process really easily. But when you do, mm -hmm. um, it, it can build a movement and yep. sustain a movement over time. And you, you but you need to have that reinforcement of people who you can actually get together with and and, and build something with. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, you know, I have a very cynical group of people in my office, 
like many people do. It's New York City, you know. You walk in after yesterday, and everyone's like, "Hillary, woo!" You know, and you know, and you know, it's it's it it is pretty demoralizing when you put yourself out on the line like that to to sort of you know be optimistic in this world because you get shot down for it all the time. So I think that was part of the thing that was exciting about the video to a lot of people because it kind of touched them and said, "Wow." They're like throwing themselves, well, I am, you know, cool guy. He's like throwing himself out there on the line. And, you know, he could have taken so much heat for, for doing that. And, you know, and all the people in the videos and people will always be cynical about that kind of stuff and say, well, that's preachy and you're getting cultish. And, you know, that's kind of that whole message of the campaign. It's like, it's okay to have hope. Uh, how do you build on that? I mean, internet communities are very helpful with that stuff. I mean, we've seen it with people who around, you know, forums around support systems for illness and, you know, and people who deal with a lot of things where, you know, the, the support that you get online for, for being around something like that is powerful. Hopefully we can connect people that way. I think to that point, I think the, the more you can do to say, let the community figure out for itself that what they need to do is organize in their communities, go out to vote, and so on, and have it less be a pushed message from the creators of the yeah. site of, hey, everybody, it's really important that you vote or that you organize or that you do this, and, and more, whether it's, whether it's using the pledge bank model or, for, or the 43 things model or the, uh, you know, or the dig model or some combination of those for people who are coming to the site to identify, oh, right, one of the things I think is important is that we should create videos in our local communities and run them on public television, you know, public access TV stations. Let someone propose that and other people coming to the site rally around that idea and elevate that idea and connect with each other and around that idea. It, yeah. But it's got to be clear right. that the reason they're making the video is because you're trying to get Obama <coughs> elected at the end of the day. I mean, it's that if that's the purpose of the site, that's got to be the purpose of the site. And you can't hide the ball there and expect that two weeks before the election, you're going to start a voter drive now and get out the vote. And people are all this, all this time have just been like putting up cool videos that they found inspirational or, you know, taping themselves, reading a poem. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I got to get out and vote now. What, what, what's this sure. about? I don't, I don't think somebody <laughs> sees the video and comes to the site and thinks, oh, this is about sharing videos. I think, I think there is something inspiring about that video that does make people say, okay, I do want to, I do connect with this message, I do connect with this idea. And so I think if you can tap in and say, okay, now that you're connected with this idea of hope, act, change, you know, and, and if you want to say, and if you want to say Obama too. Act, you know, part of the act is, sure. and you, you got to vote. Right. Well, um, not I, just you got to make a video or you got to plant a tree, um, which is great, but you know, you have to have some, the organizers, there's got to be someone behind it um, who is making the decision and has the clear plan in mind and is, and is sort of directing the project towards that goal. I mean, it, uh, democracy, pure democracy on the web does not always work <laughs> out very well. No, I agree. But um, I, and if you're just letting the users decide what the thing is going to be about, then it's going right. to probably I mean, not work out too well. The point is that you have architecture decisions to make about the website. And whether you like it or not, those decisions are going to, in, in part, determine what happens to it. Yeah. You can't just throw it, up, throw it open to the wind and, and uh, let, sure. it, let it go. So you, you, whether you want to or not, you'll have those choices to make. Mm -hmm. can, I want to just change this just ever so slightly and channel our friend John Bracken, who is watching on the web, and who said, <clears throat> who asked the question, which I think has actually come back and rel is relevant to this discussion of sort of authority and the fearlessness associated with saying yes we can all these kinds of things is what what does this say about the role of celebrity and how do you think you use celebrity going forward if this the initial video had been directed by Kevin you know Johnson and had been of you know Becca and Catherine and Mai's band yeah. uh, clearly it wouldn't have gotten 20 million whatever views right Absolutely. and so is it that I mean, you, you start with celebrity and then it goes to the people or is there are there periodic kind of uh, celebrity things that happen throughout, or how? What's the interaction of the, that over time? You know, I, I don't, I don't know that anything conclusive can be said from this video. I don't think everybody in it is a, a big giant celebrity. And you know, the way it was organized, you know, on the first day that we shot, there was a very real chance that it would have just been Will, John Legend, and Scarlett Johansson because that's all we had. 
And so the rest of the people who came really came only because they were, you know, voting for Obama. And so I don't think that they're all the most famous people in the world. I, I, I can't imagine you know who, I don't even know who a lot of them are. You know, it's like, these are just the people who came. And I think that you respond to it. They happen to be celebrities, but I think that, you know, really the power of the video is the honesty of the people who are in it, irrespective of the fact that they happen to be celebrities. You know, I think that you respond to them and Barack's words. And I, I think that it does help that there's some celebrities in it, but I don't think it's the same thing as if you did, you, know, you just went and got the top, you know, celebrities. You know, I think that it, it has a, a genuineness about it, which always speaks to people, irrespective of whether, you know, I think the song is great. Barack's words are great. You know, um, uh, when we were making it, there was a push to try and have, uh, you know, footage of John F. Kennedy and, and Martin Luther King in it. And, you know, all of that went away because in the end, it's just about the iconography of Barack, you know, and just about him being powerful. And he is those people. So, so I think the thing is, is that it works on that level. I don't know that it has any real statement about celebrity uh, that can be inferred from it going forward, really. You know, because they're just people who are voting for Barack, and they happen to be, you know, I, th I think it's the genuineness of it that comes across and is powerful, not necessarily that they're famous, you know. Oh, I mean, but I would, I guess I would submit that for starters, if it were not Will I Am there, right, it would not, not have gotten, people would not have gotten a chance to be exposed to that genuineness. And I think that the genuineness is what makes it resonant, and that and the production value, right? It looks nice, yeah. and it feels powerful, but that <clears throat> if it were the initial, uh, you know, the initial offering were just folks off the street, that it's not clear to me that that would have been, had the same sort of uptake. Well, he definitely has artistry at a very high level. You know, it's like Will, you know, made this song and it's really good. He took all his skills that he uses for yeah. his regular music and put it into this thing that's very different than any of the other things I've seen him do. So, you know, I think that it just... And I think it's a confluence of things. I think it's just every once in a while one of those things like takes off. And I, I don't know if it, and you know, it was a couple of days before that uh, primary and it just, you know, I think it, it came along at the right time and it just kind of, it hit a nerve. I don't know if it came out today whether anybody would even watch it, you know? So I think it's just kind of a, a fluky thing that, that uh, we certainly didn't expect it to do that. I mean, I think that if it literally 10,000 people had seen it before, we would be pretty, would have been pretty happy with it. So I think it's a, you know, it's a fluky thing that I think can now, with all this discussion we've had, you know, can, it, you know, the question is whether that can be extended and that hopefulness be extended and, and be used to do positive things, irrespective of whether it's just the election or it's conceptually something more than that. You know, it's like I think that all these things are true. It is about inspiration and the idea of inspiration, and it's also about Barack, you know, so it's, it's, uh, it's all those things all at once, you know, and, and really right now it's so nascent that the real question is whether it can, uh, you know, I think there'll still be a lot of traffic to it for a long time. And so the question is whether people come there and can actually find themselves in it and find something uh, that they can be a part of that they, they enjoy and they use and can keep pushing them forward on the issues, you know. It's definitely, uh, I mean, I think it's definitely a great conduit, you know, on, you know, because there are hundreds of other things out there that that maybe didn't catch fire as much as this, and so it's a combination of all. You know, you have some celebrities, you have a great song, you have all the, the this stuff, and you know, you come to a site, it's kind of well designed. It's it's a double-edged sword too, because you know, there's a lot of articles that have been written about the creative class behind Barack Obama and this and that, and you know, and how. Yeah, that, but you know, it's it's difficult too because Hillary latched on to that too and said, well, you know, we're not, you know, and everyone's saying the profess. I heard on CNN they were saying the professorial class or something, you know, <laughs> where, you know, the words that they're choosing is basically showing and putting Barack out there as the elitist candidate, where actually he's probably the most populist. So, um, how does that actually happen, you know? And so there's a danger of this too, you know, where, and that's why I think with the site. You know, when Jesse Kelly immediately wanted to say, okay, it's not about this video and the, it's about the people and let's get more people involved and kind of mobilize it on that front because it is a little bit, little dangerous, even though no matter what we can say, this is America and people sort of gravitate towards, you know, or at least 
you know, the spark would be created from celebrities and, you know, you know, very well-produced stuff versus non-well-produced stuff. I'd say that, that I've spent over 100 and probably hundreds of hours now volunteering for the Obama <laughs> campaign, and I know, Jesse, you might be sick of this song, but I do keep coming back to this to kind of re-energize myself, and it's yeah. something that when I live on the web and there's hundreds of places where you can go and, and have discussions and forums, and the thing is, is that in a lot of those places, it immediately turns into Hillary bashing, McCain bashing, Republican bashing, Obama bashing. It's just the easiest thing for people to do is just to go negative on everybody else. And one you know, I, I, I agree yeah. with you totally yeah. because, you know, the thing is, is yeah. that it's, uh, you know, I, I don't understand that, but you're completely correct about that is that, um, you know, people hate Hillary, people hate Obama, you know, and, and it's, you know, ultimately one of these two candidates is going to have to lead, you know, hopefully the country, you know, so it's, it's, I agree with you. I think negative is really bad, you know, and I, I, th I think that, you know, the, the, the song was created out of the idea of just doing something positive for these incredibly resonant words. It wasn't about, you know, it wasn't about hating Hillary, you know, so. But, you know, those, those of us who have spent, like, a lot of time on the web know that it's just so easy to fall into that, and, and I think you're in a unique position where you've established this place, and if you did open it up to, to more participation, it, it would be... I, I don't know how you might do it, but it would be great to find a way to make sure that it stays positive. There's plenty of places to go where you can go negative. You know, you know I don't know how you might accomplish that, but it seems like that's your unique place right now. You know, the thing is this, is that I think that we've brought it this far, and it needs other voices. You know, that's why we're here. You know, and, and uh, you know, I don't think it ends with this conversation. It's like those of you who are interested in this should participate in it. You're volunteering already for Obama. It's like... You know, it wants to be really good. You know, once and there's no reason it wouldn't be really good, except if if these ideas aren't, um, you know, kind of introduced to it. You know, and I, I think that, you know, in any incarnation of the things that we thank you, you know, uh, uh, you know, the thing is, is that in any incarnation of the the vision of the ideas that we've talked about, it's going to take. Um, I don't think these are particularly expensive ideas. I think the issue is is that they need to really be thought all the way through because it's yep. a roadmap has to be developed about how to accomplish this goal because the thing is is that it's it's you know and it needs more people than just us because he's built it, you know, and the thing is is that he can't really you know, it's like now we need some other people, other programmers, and more importantly we need the intellectual ideas and a really clear specific plan about how we're going to bring it to whatever level it's going to attain. And, you know, I think that it's, we're in a rush, but we're not in a rush. I don't think that anything's going to be decided really soon between Barack and Hillary, unfortunately, because, you know, I think it just destroys the Democratic Party to keep going on like the way it is. But, but uh, you know, uh, you know, and it was funny watching Gore at, at TED because he was very conscious now, the, somebody asked him a question about the election. He was very conscious not to answer the question because he ultimately is probably going to decide. So, so I think that that's a way in the distance. And and for us, what we can do is create a positive place where where you know people want to be a part of it. You know, and that's the that's really the goal. Especially since there are so many um, of these sites which really fail, you know, uh, uh, and go down because they're not really thought out and they're not you know. It would just be a real shame to miss this opportunity and not make it something really good. Yeah. You know? With that, let's close. We can have an offline conversation. But uh, thank you all for coming. Yeah, thank you, thank you guys so very much. much. Great ideas. Really appreciate yeah. it. You know?